Yes, let's testify and give glory to God. Who would like to go first and testify? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Brother, I'd like to uh, testify. My name is yeah. Vaina. Yes. I've never testified. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Jesus for the breath of life. Uh, I'd like to thank him for allowing me to be in this group and to listen and also help me with uh, by listening to a testimony so that I can speak up. Uh, thank you for all. Thank you, Jesus, for all the resources and opportunities you have given me to grow in my faith. Um, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters here and also for everybody. Uh, the main reason I came to testify is because of the experience with the Lord I had. Uh, I'm married, uh, but I had I was involved in the wrong relationship. And that was the time when I just recently joined the group and, uh, and was actively listening to everything. Uh, it was going on for two months and I didn't have the courage to uh, stop it. And I spoke to Brother Vivek also uh, uh, regarding this. And he told me to, I was too emotionally attached to the person. Although I, he, the person was insisting on a physical relationship, I, I was not, uh, not uh, at all happy with that. Um, and uh, I was very scared to open up to my husband about it. And I was praying desperately to the Lord to help me to come out of this emotional thing. And then I spoke to Brother Vivek. He told me to do uh, the um, uh, soul tie prayer and also to repeat the eye confessions daily. And this was the same time when the Brother Vivek came up with the emotions uh, series. And um, and I kept doing what he told me. And also I kept pleading with the Jesus, playing, praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet to come out of this emotional mishap that I had, uh, what I was going through. And then uh, Jesus finally gave me the courage after all the scripture reading and the soul type prayers. And he gave me the courage to completely come out of this emotional thing. And I told Jesus, I am done. I want to surrender myself completely to you and you take care of me. I cannot do anything further in this. I'm really, really done. And uh, he helped me because he got my husband involved and he sorted this matter out for me. And uh, if this has left a scar in my marriage, but I'm sure the Lord will turn all my sorrows into something really beautiful. Amen. And I claim that and I trust in the Lord deeply. And Amen. I'd like to thank Brother Vivek for not judging me. Thank you so much. We love you, oh, sister. Thank you. It takes courage to courage to stand up for the Lord and give a testimony of this sort. I tell you, preachers also will not give what you have done. Your heart is the heart of the Holy Ghost. I pray God's mighty anointing upon you. The same anointing God has blessed me with. I pray a double portion upon you, sister, so that you have a ministry of reaching out to people and bringing Christ to others. Don't worry, God will provide every need of your life and he'll turn this situation for your good. I pray Romans 8, 28 in your life right now. Your marriage will be blessed and you continuously pray for your husband. Bless him and continue to love him. And remember one thing, God has blessed your marriage. He chose you and your husband. And he's the third person in that marriage. Without Jesus, there is no marriage. Always remember, when you love someone, Christ has to be in it. Okay? So God bless you, sister. And thank you for standing up for Jesus. And thank you. You have told me you will give this testimony. And God bless you for standing up for... Uh, I continue to pray for you as well uh, during that time. So... God bless you. I'm, I'm so happy okay. that God got you out of that situation yes, and yes. got you out of that toxic relationship. In yes, Jesus' in name fact, we pray. When I was inside that also, the Lord was literally behind my back. He was just, each moment he was like, come back, come back, come back. He was repeatedly saying to me inside that. And he always prevented things from going in a very drastic way. Uh, I'm not able to say it out loudly yet, but uh, he, was, he was so, yes. so behind me. And I just, I just really understood, brother, from that, that how much he loves me. And I don't feel like an orphan or alone or what I felt before. And I used to feel that nobody likes me and I'm good for nothing. But with this incident, I understood how much the Lord loves me and how much, how much I'm valuable to him as a child. I'm yes. So grateful for this. Yes, sister, God bless you. You don't worry. Um, I'll continue to pray for you and we as a group, let's let's agree as one body 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come into agreement as with everyone. And we lift our hands up towards this sister who has stood up for your name, O Lord. She stood up righteously. There are so many people who can testify and give their testimony, yet they'll keep their mouth shut and wait for the devil to take over their lives. But this sister stood up and spoke what nobody in the world could speak. She spoke for your name and she stood as a testimony for you, Lord, for your glory. Let that very anointing destroy the yoke of the devil, Lord. Isaiah 10, 27 is what I pray, the scripture that changes people's lives and gets people out of secrets. And the only scripture I know personally that can save someone from the darkest sin of someone's life. I pray that scripture over the sister, let the spirit of God destroy any kind of yoke that is there or any kind of soul tie in the mm -hmm. blood of Jesus. I break it in Jesus' name and let the restoration take place of love in their marriage. We agree as one family that there's total love in our life and Jesus let your love be agape love be in her. That she knows that you love her so much that you do it to whatever extent you went to save the marriage and ensure that this relationship stands for me. We make Amen. this prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister. Yes, such powerful testimonies are there on the prayer group. Is there anyone stopping to testify? We have to open our mouth and testify. That's how the Spirit of God works within us. Hallelujah. Yes, who would like to go next? Brother, I'll a testimony. Yeah, go ahead, Russell. You, this you is, have to testify. Stand up. Yeah, this, the Lord. this is a testimony from Ryan from the from UK. Yeah. And it's called an Easter miracle. So this was from the 8th of April. So he sent me the testimony. I'll just read it out. Uh, okay. It says, my daughter was on her way to the Easter vigil on the 8th of April for an 8 p.m. service when she met her friend who was just traveling back and forth, not knowing what to do. On asking him, she got to know that he was told to leave the house. Being a Muslim in the month of Ramadan, he had to break his fast and so my daughter gave him something to eat and then brought him to church. After mass, about 10.30 p.m., my wife and I decided that we should take him to his own home and talk to his parents. It was now nearly five hours that he was away from home and not a single phone call from his home had come to find out where he was or what had happened to him. While walking to the nearest bus stop, he says, now I am homeless. Where do I go? So I questioned him. All this while, whose house were you in? And he replied, seriously, in Jesus' house. And I went on, correct. So you're not homeless then. But all the time, he had that worry of what is going to happen. I spoke to him with assuring words and said, God is doing something nice for you now. I did not realize unknowingly that I had made a declaration there. Just after 10 minutes, about 10.50 p.m., after five hours, his phone was ringing and he answered it. I asked him, whose call was it? He replied, my mother called asking me where I was and to come home. I said to myself, praise God, and then told him, didn't I tell you you were in Jesus' house? and he was doing something nice for you? He began to smile and said, yes. Anyway, we got on a bus and first took him home safely. The next day, I told my daughter to find out how he was. He told her he was contemplating on taking his own life the previous night. And this brought tears to my eyes. This was our child. I began to recap the whole story of him leaving home not having anywhere to go, wandering about on the streets, coming to Jesus' house and being brought back to life. On that very Easter morning, God definitely had a plan for him. Yes, God. For Hamza. My daughter narrated this story to another Muslim friend and she called it an Easter miracle. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful miracle of bringing a soul for Christ. There's nothing greater than bringing one soul for Christ. There's rejoicing in heaven, Father. 
in one soul is saved. Yes. May, may Christ be alive to that, that boy and let him be a preacher, preaching your word to the ends of the earth. You will be alive in the Holy Spirit. Let your spirit dwell in him. And let his ministry go all across the world. I know I've prophesied this in the name of Jesus. And it will come to pass. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to testify? <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Brother, I want to praise and thank my Jesus for his favor and mercies upon me and doing so many wonderful things. Yesterday, my tuition children had their last paper and the mothers of the children had decided to give me not only my um, belated birthday party as well as a thanksgiving for the tuitions and really, it is not me, only the grace of God, which has helped me to take the tuitions because I know how many times I have literally dozed. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord, for leading me, guiding me with my tuition children. Thank you for the favor upon me and my Alan and Morris. Thank you, Lord, for so many mercies and miracles. So thank you, Jesus, for all the mercies and miracles. Glory to God. And also thank the Lord for the grace to make peace between my family members. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, anyone else would like to testify? Give glory to God. Praise the Lord, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for blessing this group with amazing miracles. Thank you for the powerful morning praying in tongues. In the daily word of God shared by Brother Savio. I um I usually then read in my own Bible the scripture that Brother mentions. And uh, the week before Easter, the verses were from the prophet Isaiah. And that week, a grandma said that her grandchildren seemed to be off track. As they said, they didn't want to go to Easter Sunday Mass. And she had noticed some worldly vices in their lives. And I then gave her a prayer based on Luke 4, 18 and 19 and Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. The spirit of the Lord Jesus is upon them. God himself has anointed them. He has filled them with his love, his wisdom and the mind of Christ and has completely set them free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And that day when I read Isaiah, I randomly opened my Bible on the bookmark that I thought was the last place I'd read. And chapter 5, 8b made an impact, which in the New Jerusalem says, the work is being carried out energetically and is making good progress. I thought that it's a great scripture for the grandma uh, and asked her to use it with the grandchildren's names. And then I read further and realized that I had opened my Bible at a different bookmark. And this scripture was actually, actually in from Ezra 5.8 and the work was the rebuilding of the temple during the time of King Darius and the following week the grandma said that there had been a great miracle the whole family went to Easter Sunday Mass together and during the week one of the children even asked to be taken to the library to collect reading books which she said hadn't happened in over a year so thank you so much Holy Spirit for this great miracle. Thank you for leading me to this scripture. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful miracle. All praise and glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so you. much. Thank you, Jesus. God bless. Thank you, Jesus. Please, Rebecca, I'll go next. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm here. I have to sing God's praises. I take delight in doing it. Uh, praise God for all the wonderful works and the testimonies that each one of us have given. I want to give praise and glory, honor, thanks to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit for yet another answered prayer. I've actually been praying for one of my colleagues who was uh, diagnosed with colon cancer in December. And every 
prayer meeting, every morning encounter. I have been offering her up very, very specially. Um, and I received on the 30th of March, uh, I received a message from her saying that she's gone to her doctor for a checkup and the chemo, which was supposed to be six months, has now been reduced to three months. And her chemo drugs, which she was taking, like she was taking three chemo drugs. Uh, the three chemo drugs have been reduced to one. And she says she's never had such a restful sleep in a long time. And I just want to say that the reason I'm testifying is not, it's like nothing, you know, it's God who's done everything for her. And I pray that my prayer now is that she realizes how this miracle has happened and I win a soul for his kingdom. Um, this is a true healing of our Jesus, the work, the wondrous work of his hands. And I give so much of thanks to him for this. Um, and Brother Vivek, today I just came in when you were, sing you were singing, Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. And I am going in for a procedure on Tuesday, but I cannot tell you the anointing and the, the I just, it was, I, it was as though I was in that spiritual realm. And I go with so much courage for my procedure on Tuesday, knowing that I am already healed, knowing that all those results are going to be perfect and knowing that I have my Jesus and knowing that Psalm 91 is going to come alive. Even though I, I walk through the valley of darkness, I will fear no evil for you are with me, Lord. Your, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I and only recently, I know you gave me a prayer, which I keep saying daily. And only recent, I mean, I've given it to Sim, but recently she said, Mom, um, I just prayed the prayer Brother Vivek had given you. It's such a powerful prayer, Mom. And it has taken the weight of some of my burden that has been plaguing me for a long time. So thank you, Brisbane Prayer Group. Thank you, Brother Vivek. For always, I know sometimes I backslide, but that's why I come for the morning encounters because that's my that that's uplifting for me. These Friday sessions are uplifting. I think if I didn't have that, I would just go back into into a rut and I would remain there. But these are the things that uplift me and bring me and reinforce the the faith and the and come back to God. We we are human. We will slide, but He brings me, draws me back to Him, and I thank this group for that. Thank you, everybody. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I pray in a special way for Liz and her procedure that's there on Tuesday. Father, let the doctors, your hands be upon the doctor. Let the blood of Jesus be upon them. Let everything go safe for the sister because we love her a lot. And she's a very important part of our prayer group. And she's that one evangelizer goes out of her way to evangelize and bring Christ to every soul that she meets. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray that everything goes safe. Let your angels, we command your ministering angels to be there where that procedure is going on. And as our voices are one with the thousands and thousands of angels who continues to intercede and pray at that point of time that everything goes fine. And we know, Father, that our voices are here. heard in Matthew 18, 19. Your word says where two of us agree on earth on anything. We as a family agree that our procedure will go fine and She'll be absolutely safe and everything will go perfect according to your holy will and she'll come out much better and completely healed in Jesus' name. We pray and all of us will say amen. Put an amen. Thank you, Jesus. For the sister Liz. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You, Brother Vivek. God bless you. We love you, okay? So don't worry. Thank, Thank, you, you. Thank you. Okay, who else now would like to testify? Give glory to God. Um, Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, can I go, Brother Vivek? Or is yeah, yeah, else? go. Yeah, okay. go. Um, Javita, yeah, I would like to give praise, honor, and glory to God and uh, to the Holy Spirit who's been my prayer partner. Amen. I don't know if you remember. I last um, session we had on the 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 before the Holy Le uh, Week, yeah. I made a declaration and claim that my prayers would be answered. Yes. I was going. A rough ordeal of a separation and I didn't want to go through with it but I put the situation up to God and said that if this man is not good for me 
then make him leave and ask for the separation because I was committed to this marriage. And I left it in God's hands. And by the grace of Almighty God, <clears throat> he himself came and asked for out. Uh, going to the separation was also a task because I need to, needed to get the rental agreement on my name and, and you know, sort out everything peacefully. So he signs a mutual consent deed of separation and it slides out peacefully instead of going to the family court. And um, it did work out that way. But the miracle that I would like to share is that I've been chasing my landlord for the last two months and I could never get him to come over and sign the agreement. And literally on the 3rd of April, which was my birthday, he kept postponing it four days before that, today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. And finally on my birthday, he said, I'll come at 7 p.m. I was dressed at 7 p.m. to go down and meet him and talk to him and get it signed. He didn't come till 10.30. But from that time, the whole day I was just praying and the week before that, I just kept the Holy Spirit as my prayer partner and I didn't give up. I said, this has to happen because what my ex-husband or his husband wanted to do is get cancel the agreement, take over the deposit and we would be homeless. We would be without a house. And God has brought this house to me four years ago in a flat I never dreamed to have. It's a miracle house. He says it too. And the base, base was he just wanted the money. Then I actually, when I got the rental agreement, all praise and glory to God and thanks to the Holy Spirit who was my prayer partner. Uh, the next step was getting the separation deed signed by him. He gave me a tough time and I think he wanted money. So I negotiated with him. I had to pinch it out of my savings, which I didn't have, but I managed to take a loan from the office and um, I paid him off. The other miracle is this, that it happened. I prayed that it would happen before the Holy Week, I mean, you know, Holy Thursday, so that Easter would be a new beginning. And that's literally how it happened. He stepped out of this house on Holy Thursday itself. And Easter was literally a new beginning for me and my daughters. And uh, it amazes me how God worked because I was struggling. I was struggling. I was struggling for many months. And the timing was beyond me and I claimed scripture, Ephesians 3.20 and to whom you can do immeasurably, exceedingly abundantly more than all that we can ask or imagine. And also about with 3 to 3. And I never gave up. And I, I thank God every day. I thank the Holy Spirit. I thank my Heavenly Father who held us together, who kept me strong because I was literally in, you know, shaken up before that. And it all went through. And I, and, I, and I declared that the previous session we had the Friday before the Holy Land. And I, I, and I claimed it on the group. And my prayers has been answered. And this is the miracle. Allah's brother Allah said, this is the Easter miracle that happened for me. And uh, now I'm declaring that my job is at stake. Right now my boss resigned. I really don't have a place in the company. But I declare that God has secured my job if not in this company, he has given me a far more better job and position than I could ever dream for or imagine. This is my trust in my God, in our Lord, in our Savior who died on the cross for us. And I am, I am saved by him. I am his redeemed child. I am the head, not the tail. And I am loved by God. And he loves me and my daughters and he is going to take care of us. It's taken me a lot of courage to speak. I really don't know. how to express myself and my gratitude to God. I think no matter how much I thank God, it's less. It's all praise and glory to God. And I thank everyone in the Brisbane group for help, for praying for me, Brother Russell as well, for always guiding me and staying there with me, um, encouraging me and all of you. All praise and glory to God. Okay, just hold my hand. We'll pray in spirit, okay? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come into agreement right with this sister right now, Sister Jovita. And Lord, in Matthew 18, 19, your word says, 
the two of us agree on anything on earth, it's done by our Father in heaven. Father, right now we agree in one spirit that the job that you are kept for her will be more than double the amount of money she's going to make in the previous job with the commissions and with all the bonuses. And, and, and her daughters will be secure in their career in whatever they do. And Lord, you will give them, you will be the head of that house. And you will make Jovita the head and not the tail. She'll always be above, not beneath. Her, her house will always have food, Lord. And she will always have plenty because you are the provider. When we live on you and your word and we eat your word, nothing lacks in our life. I pray David's prayer where he said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall lack nothing. I pray this prayer over my sister Jovita right now and I come in agreement with her. Father, with that anointing of the prophetic anointing that you have given me for your glory, Lord, I know every word I declare has always and will always come to pass because it's your word, not mine. I pray that the Lord, you are her shepherd. And she is your sheep and we are your sheep. And this house under which there is a covenant, where there is an altar. In this altar we declare that this house shall always be fed by you. None of us in this house will ever lack. Lord. Everyone will have plenty, always have plenty to give others. And in Jovita's life, Lord, you are her shepherd and she will lack nothing in this life. In fact, our hands are lift up. Sister, just open your hands. Just open both your hands. Yes. Father, I put, I, I release your anointing on both those hands. Let those hands always give till the last breath of our life. Let that be a channel of love which would flow. And let the giving hands always have only be a channel. Because she will only do the giving and you will do the filling. And she will give and you will fill. Her bank accounts will be full and she will always give. Her heart will be full and she will always have a kind word for us. She will speak of your glory, of your praise, of every good thing that you have done in her life. She will thank and praise you to the heavens and only glorify your holy name and know that all help comes in the name of the Lord that made the heaven and the earth. And we all must declare and believe that nothing in our lives comes from us. It all comes from the Lord and only for his glory. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful miracle in our life. And you continue being her provider, continue being there. Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit, who is our prayer partner and everyone's prayer partner and Jovita's prayer partner, be with her as always, Lord. And let her know, Lord, even in every trial, even in the darkest night, you are a light. Even if she walks through the valley of the shadow of the valley of death, no evil will she fear because you are there with your rod and staff and you will comfort and guide her and take her and lead her home. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Go powerfully, sister. You have a powerful life ahead of you, a warrior's life. Okay. And we love you very much. This group loves you. All of us love you. Okay. So thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Bless. Yes. Who else would like to testify? We're having powerful testimonies today. So God has really opened the mouth of those who have never spoken, have spoken, and they have spoken more than what other people could even imagine. We got extra time. We'll, we'll take more testimonies. Anyone else would like to testify? Brother Vivek, I'd just like to very quickly just give glory to God. Just through the challenges, through praise and worship, Lord, we still give you glory. Amen. Thank you. Even though the evil one tries to shut us down, Lord, we just still give you glory. And I praise and I thank you, Lord, for every grace and blessing that you have given myself and my family and our prayer group this, this week. We thank you for that Easter joy that you have just infilled us all with. And I thank, thank Daphne for her help and Russell just for, for keeping the praise and worship going till you could take over, Brother Vivek. So I give glory to God, always glory to God. Amen. Always glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else would like to? 
Um, Anyone who's not spoken, praise, yeah, Nasia, go ahead. Thank you. Jesus. I want to praise and thank God for my family, for the gift of life, for all the blessings that he has showered upon us, for good health. Uh, from January till March, life had really been difficult at workplace. Everything was back to back. But it was the Holy Spirit who guided me, gave me the strength to carry out my work to the perfection that was required, that was expected from me. Every morning, I would pray, Holy Spirit, you guide me, nothing of me. It is you who are going to guide me. And I want to thank Abba Father, Holy Spirit and Jesus for guiding me through this journey from Jan to March. It has really been a difficult time. There were times when I couldn't attend the prayer meeting. I would go to sleep late night couldn't attend the prayer meetings early morning, which I usually attend. And I used to find it very difficult to carry on, thinking that I had missed on my prayer meeting in the morning. But Holy Spirit guided me. He was there with me, beside me. Brother, since yesterday evening, I was going through a lot of acidity problems. There was like a lump in my throat, in my chest. I had cold water, I had warm water. I did a lot of things, but nothing happened. Just before I confessed, you made a short prayer and you said, experience the presence of Jesus and touch that place, place your hand on that place. I placed my hand on my chest and within a fraction of a second, the lump disappeared. I burped and the lump disappeared. So I just want to praise and thank God for this Hallelujah. miracle that took place in my life, for releasing me of this pain that I was going through since yesterday. And I thank God, our Father, Jesus, a mighty warrior and the Holy Spirit for always being there with me and my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. All praise and glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that wonderful miracle, Lord. It's just a nice Thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else would like to testify? Today we're having very powerful testimony. How many of us agree? Praise God. It's a powerful anointing. Anointing of boldness. Amen. Hello, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Anthony, you could go ahead and then we'll have Janet. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to um, thank Jesus for the mighty blessings that he has brought into my life and my family and the Holy Spirit Prison Prayer Group. Yes. I would like to thank Thank Jesus for um, healing me of my high blood pressure. Um, yep. And it is working. Thank you very much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, Janet, you can go ahead. Praise the Lord. Thank you for this prayer group. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the breath that I have, that I am awake and well. Um, I just wanted to thank the Lord for the amazing testimonies that I'm hearing. And um, it, is, it is like a, a burning fire uh, that uh, working through us. Uh, yesterday I had, a, I had to help a friend and I was the witness for her employment. Uh, there was... Uh, she did not get paid and also because of um, uh, there was a harassment going on, verbal harassment, and it has emotionally affected her because uh, she's a Christian and she thought not to take that uh, quote, but uh, somehow um, the employment uh, agency had to give her a, a hearing and I was asked to be the witness. And uh, I praise the Lord that uh, the, the hearing went well. And I praise the Lord for the uh, for Holy Spirit to uh, open my mouth, the lips of clay that I, I don't know how and everything that I said with the Holy Spirit. 
So it's a victory for those who are oppressed in life. So this is the word that um, I read uh, for her constantly. I just wanted to say what I yeah. read. Um, I, I said, <clears throat> I keep, I kept on reading with my friend that um, uh, oh God who declares me innocent take away my distress and have mercy on me and hear my prayers Psalm 4 1 um, I also wanted to uh, thank the Lord that uh, the same friend that I have been asking for prayers um, for her um, blood count um, in the past in the prayer warriors amazingly that even the doctors are uh, impressed the doctor is asking what did you do what did you do and her blood count has increased um, that nobody could ever understand so i thank the lord for her healing and i thank the prayer group for uniting my request and i praise the lord i also wanted to tell you that i really miss you guys last friday and um, i wanted to wish everyone happy easter and um, many miracles that uh, i don't want to waste uh, time and uh, one of the miracle uh, one of the reason that i wanted to say this for a long time but it never happened for many years um, people say if anything good happened don't say it don't say it and um, um, uh, just keep it to yourself then something will go wrong. But I just want to everyone to know that um, that brother constantly with his soft voice um, spoke and said, uh, speak up, um, just one word. Testimonies are uh, uh, that when we open our mouth, that uh, testimonies uh, for, uh, for the the God's assurance that we are with the Lord and we are standing by the Lord and nothing can shake us. And uh, uh, I learned that from this meeting and I wanted to thank the Lord that the depth of this prayer group and the depth of the lessons that we learn uh, is... Uh, treasure i thank the lord god bless this group and god bless uh, for the lost soul that waiting to be joining this group amen thank you lord praise you jesus thank you Yes, anyone else would like to testify? Give glory to God. Brother Vivek Lucia, I yes. thank and praise God for everything he has done past this 15 years, 15 uh, days. The, the day I gave the testimony after that, blessing upon blessing is coming in my family. I don't know the changes in my son and the good health of my family and me. But thank and praise God and making, making me more strong rather than being weak. Now I'm become more strong in my life. I surrender to God I thank the prayer group. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who would like to go next? Yes, brother, I'd like to go, brother. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, I want to praise and thank Jesus for a great week which has gone by. A challenging week. Uh, when uh, we, I received some not so good news about my work, one of my customer files. Um, the first thing I, I did was thank Jesus because in all circumstances, we need to give glory. Not only when we are ha happy and joyful, but even in the uh, sad times. So the first thing I said was, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. And um, the peace that I received uh, after that was amazing. It is the, the verse which came to me is the one that is in us is greater than the one that is in the world. And after a couple of hours, my customer says, that's no problem at all. If the loan is not approved, I have my own funds to use. That was such a miracle and such a relief for, for me as such. Uh, and I think it's uh, only the glory of God, which has, um, you know, the Holy Spirit, my prayer partner, who has been working for me for, for this situation for the last couple of weeks. So praise and thank, uh, thank God for all that, brother. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hello, brother Vivek. This is yes. Rashmi. I would like to praise and thank the Lord for the gift of life, for many miracles that took place. The Easter get together, everything was nice. Everything was. Uh, I would like to thank the Lord um, for helping me to control my emotions and speak the word of God to each and everyone who I meet, and give them also the strength what I have got by joining this group. I would like to thank the Lord uh, for the gift of Dhruv. Uh, he's preparing for his PT. And like today morning, uh, he got up. He had a very bad throat. And I told him, you have to sing. Uh, and Sister Daphne has said to sing. So like he looked at me and uh, he just consumed some hot water and all. He, he said the divine mercy and rosary. And he sang with me. And like he refused to have any breakfast because his throat was hurting. But brother, from the time um, he was here only sitting down beside me when I was uh, confessing the I confess and the praise and worship and all. And um, I did not force him to eat. I said, Let, but when you said no, uh, keep your hand on the body part. I did not place it on any body part of mine, but I placed it and facing through saying that to ask Jesus to heal him totally of his throat problem, what he's having. And he's okay and he's able to give his exam perfectly on the 20th. I praise and thank the Lord Jesus that now Drew came and asked me, what should I have for lunch? And I'm so happy that he, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that he's totally healed after you praying and I placing my hand just in front of him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Brother Vivek, this is Zerny, just a small one. I just like to thank the Lord and His uh, glory of this Easter break. It was a good and uh, peaceful e Easter, and I uh, just like to uh, thank Him in this in this silent side of uh, good, just a good restful break. And uh, it was I just it was like it was more just a focused on him for me in just in, in everything like I was doing going anywhere even there was his voice was just uh, it was strong and it was I like to thank the Lord that this the Easter is the symbol of all our belief the blood of Jesus and all the works and perfect works that made it accessible so we can um, come into his into his holy presence through the, um, the blood of Jesus and I I just think that even though some some of our family members something sometimes that I'm not aware of they could be having um, uh, family pro problems with their own uh, children and stuff like that their kids are sort of like uh, uh, get, going to do the next phase of their life they're having partners and uh, want to over a period of time they want to uh, shift out and live um, with themselves and stuff like that so I like to thank the Lord that he's uh, hearing 
the Holy Spirit that is already heard my voice and even answered my uh, thoughts sometimes in advance but I like I still like to pray and thank him for answering those prayers uh, even before I uh, pray and, and and I thank the wonderful sort of like insights and miracles that he's creating I'd like to also um, uh, in advance my um, my cousin who's getting married in around July and up and down I'd like to say um, that the Lord and his presence it's all that he's going that he will be the head of all his blessings upon his marriage and what and his uh, partner when they come together for when two of us on earth to agree about anything we ask what shall be done by heavenly father that all blessings and in the endurance in the hard times the lord will be the head and center of all everything and i'd like to thank he that he is the head and center even in our lives also and always will be and that is the east and always throughout our years and i bless this holy spirit prayer group and all they were do, all they're doing in their teachings that strength keeps me um, in my faith and just strengthen and i can never go back and without him i i am nothing i'm just i experience that i can't have, i cannot uh, take on uh the life without the presence and the and the uh power of our lord upon this holy spirit prayer group and I thank you, the Lord, for everything has done for me and everyone here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Lord. So if you have time for a quick last testimony and then Brother Rasa can take. Brother, and your brother? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so there's brother. more of you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for all his blessings upon me and my family, brother. I want to thank the Lord for giving me a joyful Easter this time. So uh, when I go back and look uh, before the years, my uh, it was can it would it was a dead Easter only for many years, but this time I can say it was a, a risen Easter for me. So we go. I, I was meditating mostly on uh, this time Ezekiel thirty-seven. Brother, and he was claiming that scripture during this Easter time, and I was really thanking the Lord. Uh, when I go back uh, before two years about. April 14, 2021 was the day you activated the gift of tongues for me, brother. I just remember the date. Uh, so I want to thank the Lord for all that he has given me during these two years. Uh, everything, everything there is a resurrection. Nothing is dead. Everything has come to life. All the blessings, spiritual blessings, material blessings, all the blessings which were dead, completely dead for the past years. Everything I have received it back from the Lord, and I thank the Lord for that. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Yes, there was someone else who would like to testify. Please, you can testify. Me, brother. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yes, brother. Uh... The Saturday before Easter, the, before the Holy Saturday, I had asked my daughter when she had come here for a night to stay, to come and spend the Holy Week with us so that we all could go to church and all. She just refused and she said, I'm sorry, I cannot because I'm not getting uh, leaves from office. And I kept praying and I kept praying. And uh, to my surprise on Tuesday night, directly from work, she came here and she said that I'm going to spend the Holy Week with you all. And we three went to church uh, together for Easter, for Monday Thursday service, for Good Friday service. And I was very happy. And that day is not too far when she says, Mama and Dad, I'm sorry for all whatever I have done. And I've come for good. Praise God. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Sister, you've got to surrender her to the Lord. I always tell you this. Because yeah, one yeah. I have surrendered her, father, brother. Yeah, yeah, Every don't worry. I surrender her. I bless a living soul in Jesus' blessed chalice. We continue to pray, okay? So, because some <laughs> prayers do take time and some happen instantly, we just know that 
as brother asil taught today early morning that we need to persevere in prayer <laughs> like the just judge you keep on knocking on god's door and that prayer gets answered yes, that's the way we pray because that's the, that's how it works you see so don't worry god has his timing and his timing is always perfect so let's yes, work sir. it okay thank you jesus um brother i just want to inform that my son didn't get his h1b visa his registration number was not selected but i'm sure when they have the second uh, lottery system in july it seems they might have he will get a chance okay we we'll pray during that registration will be selected amen so don't worry when god i think it's god's timing for him perhaps god wants it that time so let's let's yes, prophesy brother. that it happens at that time okay in jesus name amen. yes amen Brother, before we go into announcements, I might add a short, quick testimony of mine as well. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead, and then you can do announcements. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to thank the Lord for the amazing spiritual journey that He is taking me on. Um, he has made Psalm twenty-three in this last week. He has made Psalm twenty-three more real to me than ever before. It has come so much more closer to my heart. Every single word in there, and it's literally I feel like I live those words. and it's it's just a wonderful time of you know coming so much more closer to him and having the opportunity to spend more time with him as well in in that communion in that prayer in the secret place so i'm thankful to god on all what he is showing me where he is leading me all that he is teaching me and all that he is doing in my life thank you father for your mercy thank you for your grace thank you jesus and i'll just add the announcements there a very warm welcome to all newcomers to the prayer group if you are attending this session for the first time and would like to join the holy spirit brisbane prayer group you can uh, you have to join it on telegram i'll just post the link here so that you can uh, click that link you might have to download the telegram app on your phone from your app store and then um, you can click this link and you'll be able to join the group where you can share your prayer requests with others you can pray with others as well and all teachings that are done um reflections that are shared are all posted onto this group so that you can if you are unable to join them live then you can follow the recordings as well and you can follow all the the daily reflections as well uh we do hold uh morning encounters with the lord every day 365 days a year 7 am in the morning australian eastern standard time we have our divine mercy chaplet and our rosary that's run monday to thursday at 7 pm in the evening and then on fridays it's run at 3 pm in the afternoon australian eastern standard time because on friday evening we have this bible study session we um we also have brother savio's daily reflections the practical reflections that touch the heart because they based on our everyday life and there's direct downloads from the holy spirit so he posts those every single day on all our channels on our social media channels as well including youtube on facebook instagram as well so you can follow on whichever channels that you are using personally following you can follow those reflections there and use them in i know a lot of families use them in their personal prayer in their daily prayer so you can use them in yours as well um the friday bible study sessions are run every friday evening starting at 5:30 pm with praise and worship um every first friday of the month we normally run them in person face to face not just online but also in a face to face setting at St Dibnas Church in Aspley so if you are in Brisbane on the first friday of the month and would like to join us in person to praise and worship god and fellowship there you are most welcome to join us come to St Dibnas Church in Aspley north of Brisbane I want also share the i confess boldly scriptures so that in case you don't have those you are new to this sessions if you don't have those you can download them here they are available in multiple languages you can choose one that works for you Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.